Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from global con connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Barb Mitchell from JSA, and I'm joined here today by David Mettler, the brand new, almost right. brand new, but not quite brand new, Executive <laughs> Vice President of Sales and Marketing for T5 Data Centers. David, welcome. Thank you, Barb. Glad yeah. to be here. Yeah, glad to have you. It's your first time here on JSA TV. Yes. Not your first time at PTC. No, that's right. This is my third PTC. Third time. Fourth, technically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Yes. I came here 20 years ago, not knowing it was PTC. Right. 20 years ago as a child, back again. <laughs> that's right. Uh, it was it was in your blood, obviously. It was. Uh, to come. But So tell us a little bit. Um, how's the show for you? How's the, how's the role? You're stepping in. There's lots to do. 2024 is just kicking off. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah the, so the, the show's great. Uh, we've had, boy, you know, it just feels like uh, it's really well attended. We've had... Um, excellent meeting so far. Uh, it's, it's always a whirlwind when you come here in a good way. And, uh, certainly this year is, it, it feels, um, it feels like there's a, a lot of potential, a lot of buzz, a lot of excitement, uh, which is why we're here. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't agree more. It gets bigger every year. It feels that this way. This event and, uh, so many great, uh, connections and networking opportunities. Yes. And it's really rebounded from COVID, right? I mean, COVID happened sure and then has. now we're, we're shooting back up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, What's 2024 looking like for you as you, I know you stepped into this role, mm -hmm. uh, joined T5, yeah. uh, not new to the industry, obviously, having, we've covered that. <laughs> we've been in our sort of around it for 20 years. Um, but, um, you know, you started your role at the end of last year. You're, I think, how are things shaping up for 2024? Well, it, I think for, uh, for T5, we're really excited about how we're positioned uh, within the data center market right now. And, you know, as, as I think about my role leading the sales and marketing team, I want to continue the growth that was, that we saw in 2023, which was really excellent. Um, just continue that into 2024. And, um, I think we're, we're fortunate to have a well-recognized brand. We have a great track record. Um, the, the, you know, the data center development, construction services and facility management solutions that we offer are in real demand. Yeah. And we're providing those services to the most sophisticated uh, end users in the market today. So it's, uh, and there's a lot to be excited about. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when we come to these shows, there's often topics that come up and it feels like it's been a for several years now, at least, mm -hmm. uh, AI has been one, you know, that people are talking about. And when you think about that, you think about how AI is impacting the digital infrastructure landscape. Mm -hmm. How are you at T5 addressing that? Sure. Well, it's, it's funny because I started my career as a network engineer uh, in the late 90s during the dot-com boom. Yeah. And I, I see some parallels in that time where the potential of the internet was so large, but it really wasn't clear how it was going to all play out. And I feel like AI has that same kind of uh, feeling where there's an enormous amount of potential, but we're not exactly sure how it's all going to play out. And you look at 30 years later, here we are doing a, a live stream over the internet, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and so there's, you can kind of see all these different ways that the internet has in fact grown, impacted our lives, provided, you know, productivity enhancements, grown the economy, all these other things. I think AI is going to do all of that and more and much, much faster. Right. And, yeah. and so, you know, 2023 was, was the year of AI and it had impacts in, in, a number of ways on the digital infrastructure space, right? It drove increase, massive increases in power for site selection, right? Uh, it drove changes to density uh, for construction, uh, changed the way that cooling's provided into the facilities. Um, it's changing the way that networking's done. It's opening up the aperture beyond uh, the cloud availability zones to different markets, right? I mean, it's having these really big impacts. And yeah. so as we think about it, um, we want to be positioned to be a provider who can help our customers really realize the potential of AI for their businesses. And that's how we're, you know, marketing our services and and, our, and creating our solutions. Yeah. And speaking of solutions, I mm -hmm. mean, T5 data centers, you obviously own and operate data centers, that's but right. you do a lot more than that, right? Facilities management, mm -hmm. and construction services. Can you talk about some of that uh, sort of suite of offering that you sure, have? Sure, sure. One of the things that really made me excited about coming to T5 was the fact that we do the full data center development and really the integration of building out a, a site, finding a site, developing a data center, building the data center, and then running the data center for our customers. And the way we approach it is we 
build and operate to their specifications. But then we can extend those services, the building and the operating, to wherever they need it to be performed. So it doesn't have to be at a site that we own. We can do it on a campus, perhaps, that they own, or we can do it at another data center uh, where they need those kind of expertise. And so that's, that's kind of our business model. We have three lines of business. We've got the development business, we have the construction services business, and we have the facility management business. We can deliver them as an integrated solution, or we can extract the construction services and the facility management and perform those wherever the customer needs it to be. Right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know we're just scratching the surface here. It feels <laughs> like are, it's, yes. it's hard, right? We're, yes. we're like, let's get, you know, talk about as much as we can in five minutes. Pack but, it in. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But so for, but you're here for the rest of the week. So mm -hmm. for folks that are here and want to connect with you mm -hmm. or those that aren't as fortunate as us to, to be here in, in paradise, in paradise, yes. how can people connect with you? Sure. Uh, you can get to come to me on LinkedIn. You see me, uh, David Mettler, uh, T5 LinkedIn. So that's a great way to connect. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hopefully this is the first of many, many uh, conversations <laughs> we'll have. Um, well, we love JSA. Yeah, well, we love T5. So it's yes. mutual. It's great. mutual. Uh, so thank you. And thank you viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV. Enjoy the, the rest of the week here uh, at the show. And for those watching from home, keep tuning in. See you next time. Happy networking.